This is Kiwi, our pregnant locust. She is going to die soon, but not because of this Venus flytrap. You see, Mango eats locusts every single day, and she was supposed to be his food. Look how big those are, boy. They're big, hey, boy. Let's get you one. Oh, yes. Oh, he wants that one. Damn, that one's huge. That one's massive. Wait, 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 <laughs> just wait, just wait. She's so much bigger. Look at that. I've been checking these pictures of, you know, trying to find out what a pregnant locust looks like. And um, yeah, I think she's pregnant, guys. So we can't just feed her to mango. That's like, yeah. So in fact, she's lucky to be here at all. However, she is getting old and needs to lay her eggs soon. So instead of just letting her die of old age or simply getting eaten by Mango, we will give her a chance, a dangerous one. She can earn her freedom and live out the rest of her life in her very own sanctuary by going up against the only other predator in our garden, the fly traps. And since being pregnant makes you pretty hungry, I figured we'd start with a simple test. Will she fall for the flytrap's nectar if it is right next to her favorite food, dandelion? Now, I didn't just guess dandelion, I actually let the locusts choose for themselves and they really seem to go for it. So, with one juicy dandelion leaf and one very pregnant, very hungry locust, let's find out if she becomes food or if she eats the flytrap. She immediately smells the dandelion and heads straight for it. But now she's faced with two options. In her right paw, her favorite food, a juicy dandelion leaf. But in her left, something completely new to her, a brightly colored Venus flytrap coated in sweet nectar. Just as she's about to bite into the dandelion, she hesitates, then turns her head and sinks her jaws into the nectar-covered fly trap instead. Now, this trap is a bit too small to catch her, but it shows us something important. If she ever does get caught, she might be able to eat her way out, if she remembers. Still, after a few nibbles, the lure of that dandelion becomes too strong and she ends up swapping over for a bite. But then something weird happens. She stops eating completely and walks away. Which is strange because locusts always finish what they start, especially when they're hungry. Well, as it turns out, she seems to be looking for more fly traps but not necessarily to eat them. She skips two different traps for some reason and then moves on over to this side of the dandelion. The only reason I can think of is that these traps just don't have much nectar on them, so she isn't too interested in that. However, this also gives us our first glimpse at how these small fly traps might handle such a big bug, one paw at a time. As this trap closes, Kiwi now becomes restless and walks around the trap non-stop looking for something else to eat and nearly gets caught again. That is until she takes a break and does one of the cutest things I have ever seen a bug do. I kept asking her to climb into the big trap to show us how strong she is. And almost as if she understood me, she completely stopped moving and lifted up her little paw. And she didn't put it down until I gave her three high fives. Three. Last one, Kiwi. Now, as soon as I had done that, she starts walking again. Show everyone how strong you are. Come on. You're bigger than the trap girl. That's it straight towards the big trap as if she knew what I was asking and just wanted a bit of motivation. I'm not sure why Kiwi put her legs up like that, but almost as if she knows how simple these smaller traps are to escape, she walks into it, oh. gets caught, and effortlessly walks out. See, I told you'd be alright. Now seeing as she has basically triggered all these traps and might be getting a bit thirsty, it's time we move on to some of the big traps we have ready, but not before giving her a quick snack break. Come on, come get some apple. That's it. Oops, sorry. 
There you go. Come on. You don't like that? No. Oh, okay. I guess you really don't like that. Try again. Want some more? There you go. Good girl. That was just off screen, but she had a little nibble. Don't think she likes the apple, guys. But she's definitely in the mood to walk. So, let's give her something to walk across. Okay, girl. You managed one fly trap, but how can you manage with these that are actually just as big as you until you get to the one that is bigger than you later on? Well, let's put you down and see how you go. Okay, if you get to the other side, I'll get you some carrots, okay? Guys, these plants are actually really big. If she gets her body stuck inside one of these, it will, it will probably eat her. Oh, and one's just got her leg. Locusts have these little hooks on their paws, which lets them stick onto pretty much anything. However, this also means that moving across all these sharp hairs on the fly traps makes walking extremely oh. difficult for Kiwi. Why are you jumping? Oh, because your foot is caught. And the fact that the traps can also close around her paws means that she is one step away from never escaping. Oh, it's got her foot. Come on, you can do this. Come on, Kiwi. Yes, there you go. Good girl. However, after a shaky start to this challenge, I put some dandelion down at the end of the line to motivate her a bit. And almost immediately, she knew what she had to do. Come on, Kiwi, you've got this girl. It's not easy when you have so many legs, is it? Get your right leg through your middle leg. Yeah, over it. Just there you go. That's it. And just reach across. Good girl. Oof, that one's gonna go right across her face. Oh, it's got her. It's got her legs. Oh, she got, she got, just got them free. And after getting caught one last time, it seems like Kiwi kind of understands how the plants work now. Oh, she just tricked that one. She knew it was gonna happen. She knows they're closed now. She closes it and then she uses it to get across. Wow. With her newfound knowledge, Kiwi breezes through the rest of the fly traps, triggering them to close before she gets close to them, and then uses those closed traps as stepping stones. Damn, she's destroying this course. Oh, she's going for the last one. She's going for it. She's going for that dandelion. Oh, it closed. Nah, she's too strong. She knows how they work now. Get to the dandelion. Almost there, girl. Good work. Damn, that was really interesting. I didn't expect this. Okay, let me go get you some carrot. Watch out, girl. Here, Kiwi, get some carrot. Come on. Some carrot. That's it. There you go. Okay, high five. Oh, I'm not too slow then. She got me, guys. Okay, that side. One. There you go. High five. Okay. Two, three. That's enough. You've got your three high fives and you've tricked me. Come on. No. She's not interested, guys. You know what I think she really wants? Is an egg laying bin. Because she is very pregnant. Look at that. learning how to fly aren't you well let me go get you an egg laying bin but it's not gonna be that simple okay kiwi yeah you're learning how to jump so you're gonna have to learn how to jump into the egg laying bin guys these are some of the biggest traps i have ever grown like this trap this one trap is bigger than my thumb kiwi is about that big she could easily slot in there same with these ones up here. These are some of the biggest fly traps I own and some of the biggest ones in the world. So let's add Kiwi in. Your goal is to get to that egg laying bin. There's food there and you can go lay some eggs, but you're gonna have to get past some of these traps that are literally bigger than you, okay? So good luck. 
Now, Kiwi has kind of become an expert at avoiding these traps. Oh, she's gonna go up. No, she's going around it. But we have all forgotten something here. This is also a challenge for the fly traps to see if they can catch something as big as a pregnant locust. So between an expert locust and some of the biggest fly traps we have ever seen, Kiwi will need to repeat this level three times before she can win and retire in the locust hotel just to make this a little bit more fair for the plants. Oh no, it's closing. It's closing around her. She's pulling herself out. Wow, okay. And she's made it up just like that. Remember, her foot's stuck. It's got a foot. Her foot is actually trapped in that fly trap, and that fly trap is closing. Ah, oh, she got free. After a touchy first round, Kiwi breezes through these fly traps and takes that same success to round two. Now it's gonna close on her head. So we're gonna say, oh no, she's got caught. Oh, okay, never mind. That was super easy. She's eating the fly trap. Ooh. Ooh. Too easy. Too easy. Closes it and then goes up. She's so clever. But with the biggest trap still untouched, round three is where the fly traps need to take their chances before they lose out completely. You gotta be careful here. This trap is literally. Okay, you wanna high five? There you go. Careful. Is she gonna... Oh! Nah, she's just too strong. Look at that, guys. Come on, Kiwi, you can do this. After powering her way through the biggest trap I have ever seen, Kiwi takes one last moment to dominate the fly traps by eating yet another plant, claiming a few high fives. There you go and then promptly walking right over the last trap in her way to get into that egg laying bin. That trap is useless. <laughs> She's done it. Go on, Kiwi. Come on, go get that leaf. Go get that leaf. You've deserved it. As soon as you get that leaf, you'll get your, your treat. There you go. Good girl. Are we going to show everyone why you're called Kiwi now? Show them why you're called Kiwi. That's exactly why. She hates Kiwi. She like really does not like Kiwi. <laughs> That's why she's called Kiwi. She's got her egg laying bin and we're gonna give her her very own sanctuary now because damn, she deserves it, right? Honestly, she escaped the plants. She tricked the plants. She did really well. Get your dandelion, I know you like it. And so after working with the most charismatic, strongest, and most intelligent insect of my life, Kiwi has truly earned her place in the Locust Towers. And after a couple weeks, she had accomplished what she had worked so hard to do, lay those eggs. Please don't forget to subscribe for season two of the Flytrap Games and maybe share this video with an insect lover. I'll see you in the next one.